You have not seen what I have seen. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm sure by now we, a lot of us, have seen what Galadriel has seen, which is uh, Amazon Rings of Power. And I watched it too, watched it all, and I survived, which is a good thing. Yay! The bad thing is that I still my mind is exploding, I still have no clue how this bismal of a boar actually got green lit and made. I have no clue. What I do have a clue about is why anybody who even remotely dares to criticize this show automatically is being labeled a number of certain words, which are not nice, and in my opinion, not justified. So how about we start with why I think the criticism towards the show is actually justified. Let's start with cringe dialogue. Check. Most of the time I watched it, it made me so uncomfortable. I literally had an urge to get up and walk around my place just to shake it off, which I did a few times, but then Luckily, I adapted through the episodes, and then it became a comedy. I had good laughs about it. How about slow pacing? Mm -hmm. Which is important for the entertainment, especially when you're watching a long TV show. Slow pacing. I know it's not funny, but even worse than that. Worse than that, I don't know what you fancy, my friends, but go make a sandwich, go kiss your loved ones, go have a nice experience in the bathroom, go for a pint next door. I can guarantee you, when you come back, you're not gonna miss a thing. The characters are gonna be talking about the same things, or walking, the plot is not gonna move forward that much. You're gonna be just fine by missing that little bit. Let's move to the music. Music not gonna dump anything on it. Actually, I think music was good. Music was really good. Um, the problem with the music for me was it never, ever, ever shuts up. It never shuts up. Whenever this something happens, it just, it trying to like just push through your ears even more and more. Just let me watch the scene, please. Let the audience have some, a little bit of time to breathe. But I got, the, the, I got the impression that the show actually relied on occasionally decent, decent uh, visuals and the music to sell us the scenes, to sell us, but it's not enough. That's not how you tell the story. The story needs to be there with the writing. The candy, the lollipop that you give to a little kid, happy, it's not enough to tell a good story. So there you go, costumes. I would not write home about it. I'm sure people who worked on them, they worked really hard. They worked their butts off, but clearly that's not where the budget went. The acting, important also, right? To be fair, there are gems that stood out to me personally, but overall, even those performers, they were... It felt to me like they were suffocating within this shitty script that was written for them. Because you can only do so much when you're overseen by director and showrunners and you read on the page. I'm good. We know. Okay, <laughs> okay, so we went through the good and bad, and now let's get, are you ready? Let's get to the ugly. In my humble opinion, this show is an absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace to simply a compelling storytelling that we all, me, you, we're worthy of. And a disgrace 
to cultural heritage. In this particular case, British. Now, obviously, I'm not British and English is not my first language whatsoever. So why would I even care? Why would I even bother spending my time talking about it, making this video? Well, because I stand firm on the fact that our past matters. As a humanity, our past matters. Before we go further, before I get really angry, I'll tell you a super quick story. I bought my first copy of Lord of the Rings right after, actually, believe it or not, right after I saw Peter Jackson's Fellowship. I remember I was fresh out of the movie theater, just sitting at the bar with my pint, just for a long time, just silent. I couldn't believe such lore existed. It was like a savior, like a light from up there. Because I was going through tough times in my life. And I had no idea how that, those books escaped me when I was a child. But that's not even, that doesn't matter, it's not the point. The point is, ever since then, I bought the book and I read it twice at different stages of my life. And guess what? Both times I read it for the escapism. Not because I saw myself in, in any of the characters that were in the books, or I was um, flipping through the pages trying to figure out, can I be somehow one of those characters because they're so cool? No, and not because I wanted to, the books to reflect the modern world, whatever year it was at the time. It would be more relatable, you know what I mean? Tolkien's work are already relatable at the very core. And the core is already amazingly written, rich, cohesive, fully functioning world with wonderfully written characters in it. And the rest is just, it's just up to us. It's just a matter of our own imagination. Simple, right? But no. Apparently, Amazon wants us to be a bunch of mindless bigots. They wanted to intimidate us to swallow the garbage we've been served. No questions asked. <laughs> no, 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 no. No questions asked whatsoever. Or you're this, this, this and that too. Just in case. I mean, really? Do you think they have some basic human emotion like shame? Lurking somewhere in the background there? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it because their attitude towards this cultural touchstone is an arrogant, indifferent, disgusting, self-absorbed narcissism. That's all it is. One does not simply walk into the Louvre with a pair of scissors in their hands and chop, 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 butchers Da Vinci's Mona Lisa to their own liking. God, I hope not. I mean, if humanity, if we are moving this way, why don't we just repaint, I don't know, Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, huh? It's an oldie. People might not be relating to it as much as they used to back in the day. Oh, the artist is dead, huh? He wouldn't mind. Okay, fine, that's in Vatican. We might get in trouble for that one. Um, how about we borrow the characters from the Iliad and Odyssey? Make up our own story with that. There's so many great ones to go with. Let's do it, no? Hope uh, Greeks won't mind. Spoiler alert, they will. Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what Amazon has done with their rings of power. They have taken one nation's cultural mythos and shamelessly butchered, twisted, mutated it to their own purpose. And no culture is safe, my friends. No culture is safe, not mine, not yours, if we keep consuming garbage like that. It's just a matter of time.